Hello YouTube, this is LEGO Los Angeles here with my very first LEGO City walkthrough video. Uh, I just posted a video of the city just a little while ago, so uh, go check that out as well. Um, it'll show you a lot of the trains running other than the Metroliner. And um, it'll focus on a little more, um, a few more scenes around the city that, that I won't be able to show you guys right now. Uh, but for now, like I said, this is my first walkthrough video. And I'm going to show you a little, around, uh, a little bit around the city and some details and, and talk to you about the, uh, the history behind the city. So, I, uh, I joined YouTube in 2006 and posted my very first LEGO City video in 2008, I believe. And again, the link to that will be right here in the description, so, so go check that out as well. Uh, the city has changed a lot since then and of course that's awesome because I, you know I'm always adding things I'm always whether it's a skyscraper or a, a whole new table uh, because it is a temporary layout um, you know can't set it up permanently I just run out of space uh, in the months between I set it up I, I'm always working on it um, you know designing things on Lego designer and, and trying things out so technically yes I'm always working on it even though I don't really get the chance to post a lot um, so you'll be able to recognize the city from this section over here first. If you saw my update from 2010, uh, you'll see that uh, this section right here has um, uh, has remained relatively unchanged. Um, it's uh, supposed to represent the historic core of the downtown Los Angeles um, area. So it's, of course, if you, if you don't know already, my, uh, Los Angeles is my hometown. Uh, I grew up here, this is where I work, and uh, it's the city I try to base my LEGO city off of. Uh, so the historic core of downtown Los Angeles is uh, located on the east side of the skyline, and it's just a, a collection of a, a, a ton of uh, early 1900s buildings, uh, similar to the, um, the LEGO modulars. Um, and so in 2010, I posted an update uh, featuring this street in, in pretty much the same configuration with the uh, cafe corner right up front and the movie theater from, uh, from the town plant right in the back right there. Um, like I said, this has uh, re remained relatively unchanged and that's because um, I want the city to remain recognizable by my YouTube fans as it increases in size. So that when someone comes across the new videos later on, they're able to say, you know, and, oh, you know, that, that's that same city from that video. Um, I've definitely thought about changing, and changing it in the past, you know, putting the modulars in different spots, but I keep coming back to it because to me it just looks really good and honestly there's, there's no reason to change it. Of course you have the beach right there right up front. Um, and I think that's going to be my next project, trying to improve the beach and adding more detail to the water. Um, but for some reason, every time I, uh, I try to do that, I just end up putting my time and effort into something else. And But I'm going to try to do it for the next one. Of course, you have the lifeguards there. You have the um, couple of people right there having a little bit too much fun. Um, you have your surfers right there. Uh, the uh, the skyscrapers are all based on LA buildings, and of course, uh, you probably already noticed that they were recently upgraded. Um, the U.S. Bank Tower right there in the middle uh, has been completely redesigned and made uh, taller and more accurate uh, to its true life counterpart. Uh, that's something that it didn't uh, I didn't do when I first built it in 2011. I just didn't have the pieces and I wasn't able to. Um, and I kind of just left it the way it was um, because it, it captured the look of the building and I was happy with it at the time. Um, but now that I, I made it taller and wider, of course I had to make the, uh, the other buildings taller as well. So the gas company right there in the back and the Ann Center uh, were both made larger and that was a big project uh, in itself that took up uh, a lot of my summer. Um, now the cool part and probably my favorite part of the of the U.S. Bank Tower um, my, in Lego version and in real life is that um, it changes shape. So if you were looking at it this way in real life, it'd either be from the east or the west, right? And if you were to move around it this way, um, you'll notice that uh, it starts to shift in like uh, in shape. 
and it becomes more of a of a pillar. Uh, and so this is as if you were looking at it either from the north or from the south. And again, when you move uh, back around, it changes shape again. And instead of being more of a pillar, it, it looks like it gets skinnier towards the top. Uh, so that's something that's really cool that I was able to add into the building this time around that it didn't really have before. Uh, now, of course, I added a new skyscraper that's uh, still under construction right now in LA, and it's the, um, the Wilshire Grand Center right there. Um, and the, uh, the part that's still being uh, constructed right now, or at least that they're adding the, uh, the glass to, is the sail at the very top. And unfortunately, it turned out to be blue uh, from what it looks like. So that's something that I'm going to have to change in the near future, uh, even though I kind of like it this way with the clear glass instead. But we'll see how it goes. Um, I added that section right there, the supports. Um, they're not actually on this side. It's just on the uh, south facing side, as you can see right there. But uh, I added it in any way just because I thought the Lego version of it um, looked a little plain on this side. So, took a little liberty with it and I think it looks really nice. So, um, The Wilshire Grand is the tallest building now in the city because of the spire. So I kind of just try to make that as accurate as possible, you know, in relation to the other buildings. Uh, of course, the U.S. Bank Tower still appears to be the tallest building, but because of the spire of the other building, uh, the Wilshire Grand is technically the taller one. And here's another uh, um, wide view of the city. Now, in uh, this update that I just posted, I did add finally a third table, um, and I have a residential street right here in front uh, for the very first time you know and I've had houses before in my cities but uh, this is the first time I really have a dedicated um, residential street with a lot of the uh, the creator homes that that I think would uh, would be typically found in a Southern California neighborhood so even a little bit right there and of course uh, you see the uh, palm tree line street right there someone riding their bicycle, you got a Mustang driving down the street, someone walking their dog, and of course you have a LAPD uh, police SUV right there, patrolling the neighborhood, keeping uh, everyone safe right there, people walking their, uh, uh, walking with their kids. Of course you have uh, the hot dog man right there, selling any you know of course hot dogs and the neighborhood bully over there knocking over the pizza man just for fun and of course in the back right there I have uh, for the very first time an airport in the city uh, made to look somewhat like LAX um, or the Los Angeles International Airport. I do have uh, a version of the, um, the theme building and it's, a, it's kind of a difficult building to do right in Lego. I'm not quite too happy with it yet um, but I'm still working on it. And then the, uh, the terminal is just kind of based off of the uh, Lego City uh, Airport that was just released and it just expanded a bit. Uh, but together I think it captures the look of the airport quite nicely. So, um, as you noticed, uh, the road plates, I'm, I'm using the current LEGO uh, City road plates for the airport as opposed to the older ones. Of course, they're wider for the planes, and, and uh, I did it because it sets it apart from what would be the, uh, the city streets back there. So, uh, now I do have a run, as you can see, um, but right now uh, it serves more as a way to display the planes. Um, I can take those away, put them away, and uh, there's actually enough room for the plane to uh, take off. And of course, I have the uh, airport police officers right there. 
again, making everyone, uh, keeping everyone safe. And uh, in the back right there, I put in a little model of an In-N-Out restaurant. Uh, and some people enjoying their food right there. Now, uh, this is based off of a design uh, that's been floating around the internet for a while and I kind of just made it my own and made it smaller, more compact uh, so that it could fit back there. I think it looks great. And of course, I have the new LEGO uh, Creator Brick Bank right there. Um, the detective's office as well. And you have some LAPD mounted patrol offices right there on their downtown beat. And uh, the flower cart. And right there you see my Starbucks uh, from my uh, some of my older videos. It's still standing and just in a, in a different spot this time. And of course right here you have... Uh, LA City Hall, uh, one of my favorite LA buildings, uh, completed in 1928, um, and it was the tallest building in the city uh, for quite a long time. I'll give you kind of an overview of it. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in the city, a lot of detail. Um, it is very uh, compact. Now the whole layout is probably, um, I would say, eight by nine feet, uh, 72 squared feet. Uh, so it's not a lot, but I do manage to um, try to fit in as much as possible without making it look cluttered. Uh, so I'm careful with the traffic. Uh, I, there's not too many vehicles in there clogging up the streets. And how do I, um, everything has its place. Uh, I didn't just go randomly putting in trees and, and, and flowers down. I looked at it, moved it around, and and arranged it until everything looked good and, and balanced. And you know, that's the thing. Um, it's important to just kind of balance everything out. Uh, if you see right here in this corner, I have the, the houses, the lower buildings, and it kind of builds up uh, to the modulars to City Hall and then eventually the um, the skyline. So even the skyline is balanced. The, the buildings are not too close to each other, they're not too far. Uh, the spire of the Wilshire Grand um, is closer to the center, so kind of e even the skyline looks like it's, it's building up shorter to taller in the middle. Um, so it's all about balance in, uh, in making this Lego city look the way it does. And uh, as you can see, even the pizzeria down here, probably the smallest building in the whole layout, uh, is on the corner right there. Uh, you don't want to place that next to one of the modulars or, or the larger buildings because it's going to look out of place. Um, now, there's nothing wrong with mixing the older type vehicles and buildings with the newer ones. You know, it's actually, I, I love that. But you just got to know where to put them so that it kind of fools the eye um, and makes it look nicer. Of course, another good angle of the city. Um, just a bit more detail right here. I have the uh, Lego Mariachi band right there playing. Um, now, what I did with the female singer, I got one of the uh, the pieces from the Winter Village sets, uh, the carolers, and I used her dress piece, um, put it on her, and it looks fantastic. good shot of the in and out back there okay now uh, it's kind of harder to show you back here just because it's kind of dark but um, this is one of my favorite angles of the skyline just because it of the way it gets so compact and dense back here um, and you're able to see that I do have uh, kind of a formal train stop back there. It's just, I mean, it's just really dark and hard to see. Uh, but if you look at my older videos, uh, I have more close-ups of it, and so go check those out, and and so you're able to see it in more detail. Uh, but the Wilshire Grand Center right here, if you'll notice, this side of it is actually curved, uh, just like in real life, and um, it's probably my uh, my favorite feature of that building. 
Now the reason why this isn't facing the other side, you know, the front side that gets uh, photographed the most is because like I talked about balance. Um, the spire is uh, right now the way it's positioned is closer to the center and it helps with that, with that building up to the middle of the skyline. If I had the, uh, the curved side facing the front, then the spire would be on this side closest to you right now and it would just kind of throw, th throw things off. I, um, I tried it that way and tried to see if it would work and it just, I just didn't like it as much. Here's another awesome view of the, uh, the skyline and the Wilshire Grand from this view with it's showing its flat side. And of course the uh, awesome dark blue uh, section of the gas company tower right there. Love that part. And the, uh, the US Bank Tower is um, uh, held together with these hinge plates right here. Let's see if you can see them right there. Right there. Um, and that kind of holds that curve together throughout the building. So yeah guys, hope you like the, uh, this walkthrough. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos and follow me on Instagram. Um, go ahead and leave comments, questions, concerns, all that. Uh, those are all greatly appreciated. I'm going to try to keep up with them and hopefully give you another uh, video uh, very soon. Alright? Thanks guys.